There was a man, an MOD official, and I knew what he liked. One of the things he liked was showing off. He told me this email was going to save the world. He didn't know it, but I photographed it. He was a bit tied up at the time. It's a bit small on that screen. Can you read it? Yes. Code, obviously. I had one of the best cryptographers in the country take a look at it, though he was mostly upside down, as I recall. Couldn't figure it out. What can you do, Mr. Holmes? Go on. Impress a girl. There's a margin for error, but I'm pretty sure this is 747, leaving Heathrow tomorrow at 6.30 in the evening for Baltimore. Apparently, it's going to save the world. Not sure how that could be true, but give me a moment. I'm going to know the case for eight seconds. Oh, come on, it's not code. These are seat allocations on a passenger jet. Look, there's no letter I because it can be mistaken for a one. No letters past K. The width of the plane is the limit. The numbers always appear randomly and not in sequence. But the letters have little runs of sequence all over the place. Families and couples sitting together. Only a jumbo is wide enough to need a letter K or rows past 55, which is why there's always an upstairs. There's a row 13, which eliminates the more superstitious airlines. Then there's a style of the flight number 007 that eliminates a few more. And assuming a British point of origin, which would be logical, considering the original source of the information, and assuming from the increased pressure on you lately that the crisis is imminent, the only flight that matches all the criteria and departs within the week is the 6.30 to Baltimore tomorrow evening from Heathrow Airport. Please don't feel obliged to tell me that was remarkable or amazing chance express that thought in every possible variant available to the English language. I would have you right here on this desk until you begged for mercy twice. John, please can you check those flight schedules, see if I'm right? Yeah. I'm right, yeah. <clears throat> I never begged for mercy in my life. Twice. 